Hey there. In this month's release notes video, Marina mentioned that you can now use Vertex AI in Firebase to generate images with Imagine. We just had to peek behind the curtain and see how you could add this sprinkle of magic to your apps. But first, what is Vertex AI in Firebase and how can you use it in your apps? The Vertex AI and Firebase client SDKs give you access to the latest generative AI models from Google, the Gemini models and Imagine 3 models. These SDKs allow you to securely call those models directly from your mobile or web apps in the languages you're familiar with, like Kotlin, Swift, and Dart. And no need to set up to, deploy to, or manage anything server-side. And I particularly want to highlight that I just said securely. With Vertex AI in Firebase, you get extra security layers to protect the endpoints from unauthorized clients when you enforce app check and by restricting API key usage to approved clients. In addition, Vertex AI in Firebase has fully configurable per user rate limits. Now let's talk about the actual reason we're here. Looking at one of the latest features of Vertex AI in Firebase, generation of images using Imagine 3 models. So what is Imagine, you may ask? Well, Imagine is Google's top model for generating high quality, realistic images. And it comes with a suite of features and tooling for working with images. In this first release, the Vertex AI and Firebase client SDKs support image generation, but more features are being worked on as I speak, like image editing. Shall we see Imagine 3 in action? Fortunately, I am in dire need of an image generation model at this moment. I am working on an app for my tabletop role-playing game, and I want all my players to have a custom avatar for their characters. I am playing as a wizard. I cast a vector embedding using my wand of Firestore. Here's what I need to do to generate the images for my tabletop game. First, I set up and initialize my app, just like I would do for the Gemini models. But instead of calling Get Generative Model, I call Get Imagine Model. And since I want to give my users a choice, I tell the model to generate four images so my users have some options to pick from. And there are lots of other configurations that I could set for the model here too, like aspect ratio and things I explicitly do not want in the generated images. Now, I would just make a request to the configured Imagine model using a call to generate images and then await a response from the service. Sometimes the model will refuse to generate an image, for example, due to the default safety settings or the settings that I've configured myself. If that happens, the filtered reasons attribute will return a detailed reason. To display the images, I can use the image response, which has a base64 and mime type property. In this code snippet, I update the source of an HTML image element to then display the image. And ta-da, just like magic, here is the image I requested. That was fun. There is one more thing that will really make your images pop for your users if you have a specific theme in mind. Your users are likely just typing in what their character is and likely an action their character should be performing. In my example, I used a wizard casting a spell. But let's imagine that I want a photorealistic image for all my players and that our game is taking place in an office. To get a better result that matches my theme and forces a photorealistic style to the images generated, I could stack a text generation prompt in front of the image generation prompt to get results that match a style or that help improve the details of an image. Let's take a look at how that may work. Here, I've crafted a prompt for a Gemini model that states that I want a specific style applied to the user's prompt that still respects their generation choice. I then pass the prompt to Gemini to rewrite the user's original prompt using my instructions. I am supercharging the user's prompt, if you will. I can now pass this new supercharged prompt to the generate images method of the imagined model, which will generate an image. Here is the output of the same character request. The image not only matches my style for the game in office setting, but the image looks much more realistic than the original one I supplied. If you want to learn more about Vertex AI and Firebase, 
and all the cool things you could do with Imagine through the client SDKs, check out the documentation link below. Let me know what kind of images you are generating in the comments below and what you found works as prompts. As a challenge, can you generate a realistic Sparky using the prompt stacking method? If you generate a good image, please share the image with the Firebase team on our social media channels. Here's the best Sparky I could come up with. I am Noe, and I cannot wait to see what you build next.